is so much to learn in the wonderful field of gastronomy. Firstly, I suppose, that it's not an actual field, though with all the vegetables and livestock and so on, there may be rather a lot of time spent in the field. There you have it. The study of food really does cover so much ground that we only manage to stretch the surface and talk about grass. Let's have some music, shall we? Yes, and hello, welcome back to Tupan Campus Mission 2. We are at the Piazza La Natra, so right in the city center, and it's all about food, of course. Guess we are in Italy. What else could it be? And our sous chef is welcoming us. This is a rather small campus area. Is this really going to be supposed a university? Oh my goodness. A beautiful old town center, though, but that's it, right? A nightclub. I'm here to help turn your student body into a bodacious stew of learning. Welcome to the culinary world. It's going to be delicious. Now, once again, we need to start with the absolute basics of what's in a campus, right? So we're probably going with the learning area first. And for this, we do need the lecture theater. And it's all about gastronomy this time around. So lecture we always need, right? So this is the theoretical stuff that people learn. And I'm inclined to build a bigger one this time because the last time it was a bit, uh, a bit small, perhaps. Um, and we have it in the front there, right? So this is where people can do something. And then we got this uh, theater here. And I guess can we can build several of them, right? Not that it really looks like... This looks strange. Can we have it on a higher... Higher than this one here? I don't think so. I think we always need to have it like that. All right, then let's make a smaller one here once more so that we still have room here, for example, for a nice little toilet because I'm pretty sure we're also going to need a bathroom and that we can just as easily squeeze into uh, this corner there. Let's go ahead and add some rooms for that. I'm only going to build every room once, right? Because we can, we can then copy this one and recreate them again. So however big this mission is going to be, we don't need to do this all the time, of course. We can also, and this is pretty interesting, we can make a blueprint out of this room. So in the future, we could always use this even for other missions, most likely. But we'll just figure this out in a second. Let's also add a bin here, and then we got our bathroom there as well. And this already levels up our campus to level two. And we also receive some coin here. Very good, so that's that. Then we need the savory kitchen and the gastronomy kit, uh, teacher. So the savory kitchen, there we have it. All about cooking. And it does need to be, holy moly, it does need to be huge. So at least six times six it needs to be. With a nice entrance and a huge, what is that? A super chef teaching area that we have then right here in the center. And then also some table right there and a book. And we could do the same thing on the other side. We are already level two. So let's add another one of this and of this. And then of course, as always, we also need something like a bin, a hand sanitizer, add two of them. After all, it's a kitchen, right? And you need to have clean hands and that's level three. I'm always happy with level three in the beginning. So that's how we can go about this for once. And then we have the gastronomy key, uh, teacher, Millie Boo Husky, 30,000 she costs us as a salary and she has 70% teaching skill. I think this is the basic one, 70%. And then there is some higher stuff coming up for that as well. Now we got it. We could already start the academic year. I'm not going to be, I mean, yeah, let's manage the course. We can only have one course anyway, right? Oh, virtual normality we could have as well. Should we, oh, we cannot afford this. We only have 10 points. Right, so I need to, to wait there at least a year. We can also, with the, the course points that we earn by the end of the year, we could also invest this into leveling up gastronomy, for example, or we get a new course into the university. This depends on us entirely then. Now, this looks good. Let's actually start the academic year with all the stuff that we have available there. So there's going to be some students for this. All right, in my experience, you get the best food when it's joyful and inspired and students are no different. To produce the best chefs, you need to create a free range student paradise and stuff them full of culinary tipped bits. Campus level three. So I guess we are going to add now a library. So this is what we basically always need and it's going to be pretty big, right? Because the more courses we have, the more stuff we also need for the library. So I would really like to expand this library into something bigger. We do have then a central entrance and we're starting out with the library reception. 
that we always have there, right here in the... We could have this one in the corner there. That's good. There's going to be some bookshelves already on the way to... Eh, doesn't really fit. But a hand sanitizer and some plants there. This will already be a level 3 library, by the way. Even though it, there's nothing really in it yet. We also have the library notice board. Yeah, let's have this right here at the entrance. And then we can go ahead now with the different cubicles that we have, right? So we're starting out with the computer cubicle. That is probably for the virtual reality stuff. So I'm going to have... Let's start out with two cubicles here, looking this at each other. And then we're going with the textbook and the study cubicle. All right, so that's okay. For now, it's a level five library already. We still need some bookshelves. Uh, we could have them like that, so those people do have it a bit hidden or a bit more private, right? Like that. And I mean, that's okay, I think. Let's add two of them, actually. So four in total that they're looking towards. So this is the area that we are, we're going with here for now. A nice, cute little library. That's it. Right? We, we need to expand it in any way with more equipment. But at least we got the room that we still have done something else. This is not leveling up to Campus 3. Interesting. So, monthly profit, all right? Can't be that much yet. Ah, and we already have the lectures. So, who is here to attend? Only male students we have. And Finlay Gruff is one, one of them. And Hester Spoon. So, they're all level 1. Visiting the gastronomy class. They're not particularly happy. They want a dormitory. And then also some food, most likely. So the whole student wing we have on the other side then. And we would start with a dormitory then once more. That we have down here. So we can add quite a few beds, right? So we know this by now. Let's add... Actually, wait a second. The dormitory should really be in the corner. Let's also try to give them a bit more privacy now, right? So we got some of these wardrobes in between and then probably a desk here in the center. And only then do we have some beds on, on those sides here so those students don't look at each other all the time. And perhaps also one here. And then just some posters to also level this up to level 3. There you go. So there are some beds now available. Listen, I get it. You want your students to flower, but their grades won't display be self... I will always be self-raising. She's called... Hmm. When one of my chefs needs some help, I send everyone else home and talk to them slowly and loudly. Maybe that's extreme, but some extra attention can go a long way. I recommend building a private tuition room. That is an interesting wardrobe. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? This guy just got swallowed by the wardrobe. Okay, this is really, really strange and funny at the same time. You should be scared of these things there. Now, we continue. We do need a student lounge, of course, as well. This is the bigger room. This is where my students can relax. We had, we got 140,000 credits, so it's actually not that much. We need to be a bit careful there. We do have, yeah, perfect. Something to play football or soccer. Something to relax right by the window. Yeah, probably also a bridge. Mm, let's have this one here then right away. Next to... At all costs. We've all asked that next to the Here's table Wanda where they can the eat answer. something. Some dart. It's fine. And yeah, also some snack bar. And something to drink. Week, I you to try that would be then over there. I mean, this and is a luxury a student lounge, really. Holy cow, we got it five stars now already. They are entering the room. There is nothing here yet. And then probably a TV in this corner. My high t my high high tech television set. Perfect. Level six it is. That is a pretty good student lounge. Let's go for this. Now we do have this mission here. Build a private tuition room. They continue meanwhile to learn. Really beautifully animated characters, by the way. Love that. Doubling the coal in, I guess. And I guess they're creating ice cream right now, or whatever it, this is. As they're trying to learn something from this. Uh, we do need also someone for the library. So an assistant. Franklin, Benoffi, Robin, June, Casserole. Uh, he is, she, or he. Franklin, he is a comic timing. So makes people happy and entertained. That is not good for a library. And boosts the movement speed. 
and boosts library learning rate. Oh, there you go. This is my library pal. Absolutely required for this. And the tuition room. Let's just check this one out as well. Private tuition room where every hour is office hour. Provides one-to-one -one teaching. Requires a teacher trained in a course specific quality. So it's a very small room. Does it need to be this small? I guess we could have it over here in the learning area. Private tuition room. Yeah, so we probably can get two into this. One-to-one -one learning. Because it's so small, I cannot really make a level three out of this, I think. I mean, we could get some posters out there still to make it a level two at least. There you go. And then I would probably copy it to this to the second tier as well. Put a bit of coin that it costs us. Students can attend private tuition for one-to-one -one help from a teacher. It's a great way of students to catch up. Uh, private tuition sessions require a teacher to be qualified in the same course. Alright, so we do need another teacher then, I guess, for, for this. We do make some profit. Perfect. And there's also some learning happening here. I'm very happy about that. And of course, the entertainment room is the most sought after. Now, it's not particularly demanded of me right now, but looking at the hygiene of these people, it's going down. So we do have something for that. That is the shower room. And since I'm thinking ahead here a bit, let's get us a shower room. A very small one, I guess. Since we don't have that many students yet and the entrance is private. <laughs> so you only have... Oh, that's really small though. Check it out. That's all we need. And a dryer. And something for a towel, perhaps. So let's add the dryer and towel holder here and I think that's it already that's my my shower room but at least they can do the trick oh that's pretty cool and also the glass here the window is getting you know dim as we can see people can't look out or can't look in that's probably the more important thing so they can take a shower we still by the way have some trash lying around here let's go ahead Raquel Nosh Melinda Thumper Freddy Light uh, she can also uh, Freddy can also repair so let's go with Freddy and oh, there it is. So if the students are having a bland experience, don't expect their food to be any different. Show them a tasty time by throwing them a party. We do need a student union, a new room that has been unlocked now. Uh, I would have loved to know this earlier because it makes planning harder if there's suddenly new big rooms popping up. The student union room. Would it be too bad to place it in here? <laughs> ah, nah, it's not looking good. I mean, we can have it like that. It's possible. Let's not do this. Let's get the student union somewhere over here. It does need to be a bit, a bit of a bigger room there. We could have it like that. And then I still have room left over. And in this corner, we probably get another shower then at some point. All right. We do need a bar. So this is where parties are, uh, are being held, I think. Definitely, you do need a soccer table for any kind of party. Like that. A jukebox that we can certainly have somewhere over here, probably. Do we need to wash our hands at a party? I guess. Arcade machines are absolutely needed though. Definitely some room to dance as well and something to hang out. Ah, we don't have a lot of space in here though. Level 3 room already. Seems fine to me. Let's add some posters. We only have one type of poster available at the moment. I'm just spamming this one in, right? We can unlock more than lots and lots of new items, by the way, for some kudosh points. But I'm not I'm not spending them now because we never know what we need them for. And we do need some table here. Oh, a bar table, right? Let's have this one here then as well. I mean, this is not feasible. Let's have a look. That's better for sure. Very good. Oh, and we do need an assistant for that as well. Let's have a look. Someone that is good at parties. And makes people happy and entertained. That seems good. Makes themselves smile. Entertained. Let's go for that. He's an entertainer. And with that, level 5 campus we have. We get some 10 points again. So we are at 40 points already. That means we can have two courses in the, in the next year. 
And events are a great way of promoting a healthy work-life balance and the best way to make people happy. There's a lot of organized fun to be had on campus. And schedule one party. And complete one party. So let's go ahead. An SU party. Uh, campus level one we need. 10% movement speed is the bonus and 30% happiness. It does cost us 8,000 credits. That's interesting. And we can also schedule it, right? So let's schedule it at the end of the year when the... Actually, let's make an Easter party out of it. So it's right away. Why wait till the end of the year? There we can have another one. Let's try to make one right now. Unfortunately, we don't have any female students at the moment. All male. Interesting. Monthly profit, 4,700, and there's the party. Alright, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> but I guess it's okay. That's right, the booze needs to flow, and it's ice cream, I think. Alright, at least they're having fun, it seems. These look like nerds on a party where they don't belong. But at least they're having fun. Probably going to make some delicious food afterwards. There's also some friends to be made. And before you know what's going on, the party's over. And that's it. The party was a success. And there's a wide range of events that you can run on campus. So don't forget to spice up the academic year. That's pretty cool. So we can have lots of these events then. And students complete the private tuition. There is our first star already, right? And when that it happens, we already have finished this mission, really. That is, students need to complete more private tuitions. We do need a B-grade gastronomy class. So, I guess, the end of this year or next year? What class are we right now? I need to check this out. And win the campus cook-off event. We need to schedule this. We have a room. Doesn't look like it. Savory kitchen. Run cook-off events. There it is. It is in one of my... It's here. There it is. The campus cook-off. We need three gastronomy students for that. Let's schedule this one. At the end of the year, I guess. Oh. We cannot book it already in, in, anymore for this year. Period already booked. Now that is a shame. I do need to wait till next year to do this. And there's a funny film. Oh, we can also we can have events in every room, basically. There is also in the lecture theater the possibility of having a movie night. A library does not have any events. And the student lounge has the student lounge party that we can also throw if we want to. That's really cool. But let's just look at expansion because this year is coming to an end soon. And I would definitely like to get um, another course running for the next year. Um, this one here would cost me... 50,000. Yeah, we are really tight on the money. I might need to... Or we just throw the VR in here. VR lab, right? And the science lab. There's two courses for that. We can go for the science lab. Well, let's wait for the end of the year before we do that. It's already May. There's a new item that has been unlocked, a power nap stand, so people can just sleep on it um, quickly if they are tired. And all right, let's add a power napping area into this one so people can just sleep there without really sleeping. And it's very famous, it seems. Right, three people need to join this. This is a club here, by the way, so they can join this club. Members can sleep on the spot to recover energy anywhere on the campus. Now, if that doesn't sound interesting. Alright, they do this while we wait. Build a staff room would be one of my other ones. Oh, it's getting a bit tight in here. I'm probably going to move this... Um, as two point county the store. We do need to move this a bit further history. over. And indeed... It's future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Because only you then do we have room for other stuff over there. You decide. Right, I do need to... We can also move the... Year is approaching. It's too late to start trying. 
that one that it looks a bit better because now we have a bit of room here that we can use um well for a new uh, study for example is that possible uh, that's too small unfortunately but squeezing those two into this area and moving the library a bit might be an option so that we can squeeze in another course here that is my sole goal here right now because we do need a bit more room i don't want to i can't spend money somewhere else made a bit of profit there um, couple request a sleepy sheep. We are, we are discussing getting some customized travel pillows, but I think this would be even cozier. Four people agree. And this is where? It needs to be outside. It can be placed outside. The cozy sheep. And the year is over. Just have a look at that. Build staff room. Perfect. The academic year is over. There's the rewards once again. Let's just have a look at the overview. One person failed. Unfortunately, the average exam results were at 73 and nine will continue to the next year. So that is the B grade gastronomy class. They're starting now. Um, after a very savory year, it's time to cook something sweet. A truly great chef is just as familiar with sugar as salt. Uh, with butter as cheese, with tiramisu as tender stem, broccoli, whatever. Remember, food is all about balance, except when it comes to custards. And we get the sweet kitchen. Alright, there's a new room. So I think this is year two, a year two room that we have here, the sweet kitchen. And once again, it's, it's too big. Ah, that's a shame. Right, but what we can do is we can move the private tuitions over there and now we have lots of space there. I've also moved the library a bit to have more space even. The library, yeah, it's fine for now, I guess. And then we do need the sweet kitchen. So there's not going to be other courses here because we do need more buildings for gastronomy. And these buildings are huge. All right. Let's have this one right here as well. And this is all about sweet kitchen. 30,000 there as well. I cannot even afford anything else then. Uh, let's move this one a bit. Right, level two we are. Let's try to get this a bit higher perhaps. And some posters might be good. There you go. But that's expensive. Alright, and then we do need the staff room as well. And then we're pretty full for this building. Go ahead with the staff room. Should be rather central anyway because this is where my staff goes to. And we do have quite a lot of that. With a TV. Right here, perhaps. And also perhaps another chair. Some arcade machines. Something for dart. That looks good. A notice board that we can have at the entrance. People can write down their shifts there. And some machines challenges. here for drinking and eating. And also yes, perhaps we have something CEO, else. Jumbo McNally. That's fine. That's a level 7 room already. And I'm pretty happy with that. And with that we've also leveled up the campus area once more. And also fulfill a challenge. With that we get 5 Kudush points. I'm all in for that. Thank you very much. And my staff, of course, is very thirsty by the look of it. By the way, we could also have some ornaments then out here for students, right? So we don't have that at all right now. It's looking pretty naked. Something to drink and something to eat. And also just something to really sit around, right? Like here, while you wait for your next courses or whatnot. And there's also a cups then. So for the, for the student cups that we have, the walking club, for example, that we can have. So that we make this whole area a bit lively and a hot dog kiosk in the entertainment district oh this needs an assistant that is that is too expensive because an assistant needs wages and we don't have that yet but it's going to be fine right so we are going to have more ornaments here and i guess some posters then as well and once again we use the only the same poster that we have and the fountain of knowledge here in the center Ten thousand. all right we need to be very careful about this fountain in the future that is expensive. Manage my courses. Um, I could go with another course now. I could also just level this one up to level two. Right? We can more, we can have more students, more applicants, and another or a higher qualification level with that. Let's confirm and start the next year. 
there you go and what we're also going to do now wait a second we have a lot of messages here um the chef's menu That's something for the entertainment hall. And the student lounge party is wanted. Uh, student lounge party we should go with. Set up the event. And there's the lounge party. Schedule at 4,000 it costs me. And yeah, let's make it into October. Right, so it's the Halloween party then. And we also need to plan now one of these campus cook-offs. That we can schedule. And where do we have it? Yeah. For right before Christmas, we can have this one. Doesn't even cost that much. That's an event. And we also have an event here. In the prestige room. No, we can't. And the party's already booked. Perfect. Oh, well, by now we have lots of students on the campus. And we also have, well, not enough teachers anymore. So I've just hired a third teacher now. We don't need the private tuition. There's also another class happening now. People are waiting in front of it around a bit before they go to their teaching class right while others are waiting for this class here that's also something we have here the schedule right and there's for example now a student event happening then then we got the um, campus cook-off and we also have the whole class schedule that we can also look up there you go right so there's for example classes happening right now in the theater and in the savory kitchen and then at the same time there's the event so probably not best planned but other than that, I like that. So this is really creating a schedule for the whole academic year um, where things are happening all the time. And statement, we made 15,000 profit. Only the staff wages were really expensive, but we made lots of coin from the tuition fees and then also the experience bonus. And a health inspector would like to visit the campus. We would get some nice rewards. Sure, why not? I don't see why this would be a problem. There's also the party happening right now. We got quite a lot of students already on the field now and we are waiting now for the gastronomy class and then there should be the cook-off at the end of november and there is also our health inspection six minutes early and there's also an assistant needed at the studio oh there is no let's just check it out some entertainer for our student events that we need and we do need the assistant anyway as well for the library and let's check it out there again we could also make an su party probably around christmas if there's still available or oh, new year let's go ahead with this that we can also plan health inspection i don't know what he would actually inspect we have perfectly healthy students students are asked not to ask questions and the cook-off is starting as well Alright, now it's the cook-off. What is this about? Your finest students will be selected to represent the campus in competitions, improve your courses to develop higher level students and see better results. Alright, we're only in level 2, so it's probably not the best. Probably don't have the best results yet, but we'll just see. Problem is we do need to win one. We don't have any 3 year students yet. Alright, this is a problem. Right, one was finished. What is going on? Would you please cook faster? There it is. That's the second course that was finished now. Can we win this one? That's the major thing here. There's lots of these tiny events that you can schedule in the university. I love that. That's really cool. That is something you did not have in the hospital. And there you go. Next campus cook-off is finished. Where are the results? We won! How very good. How very unexpected. You students won the campus cook-off. What do we get out of it? Uh, campus cook-off results. We do get 2,000 credits and 4 kudosh points. Thank you very much. Park bench is needed. Outside. Yeah, here by the flowers, I guess. We could add something. Let's add two of these benches here. 
and great gastronomy class. We just need to finish some classes now for the four star. So there we will already be at the end of this year then, I guess, I think. I mean, we still have some classes left. There's a party, the end of the year party happening right now. Keeping happiness up is really important. And we are at only 70% still of the academic results. But we're still having a full year, a full half year in front of us, ahead of us. So that's happening right now. Statement, some profit. And the results were, he's pleased, excellent grade. You get 5,000 credits out of that. Yes, let's also purchase a dining room, a dining area. What? I should squeeze that in here, no chance. Let's not do this. I think this room is finished for now. And we have a way too oversized library. That is not going to work out. And there it is. We got the first star. We've also unlocked the new university campus with that, the Mitten University. And we also get some 10,000 credits and 100 Kurdish points out of that. Also, some new items, right? So this is why it's important to do the campaign first, I guess, before we can start with the sandbox, because you do unlock these permanent items then for you. And that would be the first star. We also have unlocked some challenges with that. So we got the career goals, right? And this one here, for example, is gastronomy. Um, level up 100 gastronomy students and we get some 50 kudosh points out of that. Let's um, claim the reward here and also develop 100 new friendships, also 50 kudosh points. With that, we can then unlock more items later down the road. These are goals that are going over all the missions of this game, right? So we are working on some of the other ones then here in the next missions. Hope you enjoyed this one. Onwards to Mitten. Stay tuned.